You're, you're very good at this. Uh, in the Mel Brooks movie, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, our next comedian reminds us that white men can't jump. I think we already knew that. But here he is anyway, a very funny and the very charming Dave Chappelle. Thank you very much. Very good to be here tonight, man. I, I almost didn't make it. I just got back in the country. I was in France. I didn't even mean to go to France. Actually, I was in Algeria in Africa, and my plane got hijacked. You might have seen it on the news. Very horrifying experience. Everyone on the plane was scared, except for myself. I was not, you know, relaxed because I'm a real brave guy. I'm not brave at all. I just know the facts. And the facts clearly state that a terrorist has never taken a black hostage in the history of the world. <laughs> yes, my friends, it's the truth. You will never see one of us on the news reading one of those letters. <laughs> They is treating us good. We all just chilling. Because mm -hmm. terrorists know what they're doing. I hate to say it. But black people are bad bargaining chips. Mm, terrorists would call up the White House, Hello! We have got five black people. And we will... Hello? <laughs> They know leverage when they see it. You know, L.A., man, I just got here a few weeks ago. Very interesting city you guys have here. <laughs> I guess you like it. <laughs> I like it, too, man. I just got to get used to the pace of this place. I mean, I look like a real slow guy, but I like contrast. Speed turns me on. You guys stand on the escalator. That drives me crazy. <laughs> well, it's going up. I can't walk around you or anything. And, and I, can't, I can't drive too good. I don't like driving anyway. And then, come to think of it, the first week I was here, they stole my car. <laughs> now, granted, it was a rental car, but it still hurt. <laughs> I had just put gas in it. <laughs> I was very upset. But I figured it was no big deal. I bought the insurance. So I just called the rental car agency, and they sent me another one. The guy was nice on the phone. Ah, no problem, Mr. Chappelle. <laughs> We're going to upgrade you. We're sending you, hold on to your hat, a Lincoln town car. <laughs> I said, wow. Is that nice? Man, you're gonna love it. <laughs> Any of you guys ever see a Lincoln Town car before? It looked like a big ass pimp car. I was like, what is this? I couldn't even keep it in one lane. Oh, man. I felt like a pimp in that car. I did, man. I drove it down Sunset Boulevard. All the whores snapped to attention. <gasps> a lot of weird stuff happens here, man. You guys are on a roll with your natural disasters and riots and woo! This place is, I mean, it really fascinates. New York is bad, too. I live in New York now. New York's bad. <laughs> It's a lonely feeling, isn't it? <laughs> I know how you feel. It's, it's different, isn't it? New York is bad in a different kind of way. It's so dirty, man. The wildlife is dirty. You ever see a New York squirrel? I'm scared of squirrels because of them. They are just filthy. Any of y'all know what squirrels are supposed to eat? Anybody? Nuts? That's what I thought. 
You know what I saw a squirrel eating in New York? An egg McMuffin. <laughs> Something is right. You didn't think they can find. They chew gum, they smoke old cigarettes. They're just, just foul animals, man. That whole city is crazy. I don't know. You ever notice, I don't know, like I see a couple kids in here. I don't know if you kids read comic books. You notice, though, most of the superheroes live in New York because we desperately need them. I mean, but I think New York is rubbing off on superheroes because they're all, like, very bad role models for children. I don't know if you've ever noticed that or not. Like, like look at Wonder Woman. You ever just take a good look at her? Look at her clothes. Tacky, tacky, tacky. Big old red hooker boots and... Blue underwear with stars. What the hell is she dressed for? Look at the weapons they give a woman to fight with. A golden lasso. <laughs> that makes you tell the truth. <laughs> what is she gonna do with that? You know, just catch a bad guy. Quow, 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 quow. Gotcha! Oh. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything earlier, but this lasso just squeezed the truth right out of me. <laughs> Terrible thing. And I'm not just picking on the women either. I'm talking about all superheroes. <laughs> Can't stand superheroes. They're so prejudiced too. You ever notice how prejudiced superheroes are? They only fight crime for the very rich. Think about it. You will never see Batman in the projects wasting his goddamn time. <laughs> I can see him there. He's just robbing. Yes, Batman. Didn't we park the car right here, man? What the hell happened? <laughs> Something about New York. New York diversified me, though. I learned a lot about culture there. I mean, I'm a big culture buff. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to point anybody. Anyone here in the audience Jewish? <laughs> Shalom little something I picked up. Actually, I mean, I like everybody, but I'm gonna have to be honest. Jewish people are my favorite white people. <laughs> you guys are the only ones that can grow an afro if you really wanted to. I am <laughs> so impressed by that. I just like the whole thing, man, and you party like black people. You're so similar. I went to a bar mitzvah when I was 13. One of the three best parties I've been to in my life. We got down. I walked in there. Everyone from school was there. The guy from ZZ Top was on stage. I said, man, <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> you know, we walked in the synagogue and they gave us them party hats you all wear. <laughs> I got a seat in the front. And my friend Charlie Buckle, that's the guy who was being bar mitzvah, he walked on stage and that whole place got quiet. He picked up these two scrolls, started reading from them. He wasn't really reading, he was almost singing. Baruch Katadanoi. Sounded beautiful. Now, I had never been to a synagogue before, but at a black church, if someone on stage is singing, <laughs> you're supposed to sing along. <laughs> Whether you know the words or not. <laughs> I did the best I could. <laughs> Then things really picked up. We all left the synagogue and went to this after party at the Hyatt. This is the fun part. There was all kinds of food, man, bagels and filthy fish. And we went in there. And I was wondering what kind of music they were gonna play. Now let me tell you something. I don't know who this Havana Gila guy is. <laughs> But his album is slamming. <laughs> they put that music on, the whole place just lit up. Everyone was dancing. Ah, da, 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 da. I was breaking plates. Hey! <laughs> and someone shouted out, Spotter. That's Greeks. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Wrong white people. But anyway, we were having a great time. I didn't even know it was a tradition. You're supposed to pick the person who's being bar mitzvah. You pick their mother up in a chair and dance around the party. I did not know that that was a tradition. I mean, I was just thinking, man, 
We are out of control tonight! <laughs> that was fun. It broadened my horizons, man. I mean, I was a very ignorant child. I didn't know a lot of things. Like when I was growing up, I don't want to offend anybody here. Let me check the exits. Okay, when I was growing up, I used to think that all white people, don't be mad. I thought all white people were happy. <laughs> just to be white. I know it sounds silly. I thought you just walked around. Hallelujah, I'm white. <laughs> this feels great. <laughs> Taxi. Er, just checking. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Excellent, Dave. Excellent. Dave Chappelle, ladies and gentlemen.